guys, Crew of Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Mr. Stone. Doctor. Oh, I'm sorry. You Doctor call him Stone. by his title. He is yeah. a man of science. Sure. There's nothing you cannot achieve with He's a diligent application of science. Been years in school, sure. Ten billion percent wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last time on, we have set up a war. Aliens. Tusaka Empire versus the Rebel Scientific Army. Aliens. aliens. There could be aliens. You don't know. We're recruiting Kohaku and hopefully her village. Yeah. Kohaku? Kohaku. Yeah. Kohaku. She's under a tree. She did she see the events of the sorcerer gentleman. Before the pulley got her out. Mm-hmm. The invention Indeed. of the pulley. The compound pulley. The reinvention of the pulley. That, that, reinvention you, of the compound pulley. That's how you make bows. Does he get to rename all of them? But not arrows. And nope. then uh, Yuzuriha? Uh, and Taiju are going to go on a secret mission. Yep, they're going to infiltrate. Well, Taiju is not going on a secret mission. He's just going. He, it is a secret I'm of the what the mission one. is. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's just going. I've I've learned that the two voice actors for Senku and and, and, and Taiju like they are roommates. Are those actors? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And they have very good chemistry. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. And Mirio and Sun Eater. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys ready? Yep, you're ready. Mr. Stone. All right. Forging and making things without expertise is extremely dangerous and can be illegal. Please think twice before imitating. Yeah. Making things. <laughs> making things. Yeah. Without expertise. <laughs> like gunpowder. Please don't do this. <laughs> Definitely don't want to do that. Or crossbows. Meh. That's not illegal. It can be. To make a crossbow? Yeah. What about a Bobo? It can be. What about a Bilbo? Probably not. It's copyright. It is. It's the most unlawful one out of all those. <laughs> Trick you. <laughs> Depends if you're in New York or not. <laughs> all right, so we have met the tribe. I am very curious on their origin. Like, do they come from an original stone person or someone that's revived? Yeah, no. Or? That was the thing I wanted to know the most. And instead, yeah. we covered the history I already knew. And I'm like, I don't care about that. Yeah. Where did you guys come from? I still like seeing Chrome experience that, though. Like, sure. It's got to be so world changing for him. I suppose it depends where they came from. Yeah. I mean, I feel like. <laughs> like I, I'm kind of curious on what are their like, made up mythologies? Like, yeah. why are there stone people everywhere? And, I'm just saying, if I know, you know what their history is, like where this tribe comes from, I feel like then telling them what the truth is like, could really change what a person believes. Mm-hmm. But Yeah, because like, even if it was just an average person, not a Senku, there would still be such incredible things that they would know that I feel like they don't know. Sure. Just and like it, about germs. This sure. tribe must have been around for a while. Yeah. Right, and has had some generations, and they have enough to like banish people. They believe that stuff. all outsiders are or criminals. came from criminals, right? Yeah, is the idea. They well, pro- like that makes it feel like they think they're the only people on earth. Well, yeah, like if a hundred years ago the king banished people, yeah. and then they've had more people, yeah. you wouldn't like they're descendants of criminals, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's like when, it's yeah. like how you can't trust people from Australia. <laughs> I'm joking. I love all shit. So if I'd have original, they'd be like, "What?" <laughs> so, dude, I love the bubble attack. <laughs> ah! <laughs> trying to hit it so good. I, I love how it doesn't seem to be affecting anything. It's like I love it so much. special tactic. <laughs> Let someone else deal with it. He <laughs> was like, "I will rule the." <laughs> Uh, but no, I, I love the message of what Chrome is, or, or what he represents. Like, regardless. scientific method is something that, like, you know, it doesn't matter if we lose all of our information, we can gain this stuff back yeah. by yeah. experimentation. Some idiot will still yeah. just do shit yeah. and see like, what happens. Yeah. yeah. And if we just lose all of our history, our storytelling, all that stuff, like, we're not going to get the same stories back, but we will get the same science back. Sure. Yeah. We'll have it's, gods. Yeah. It's just more dangerous when it's like only Senku, like experimenting with things. Mm-hmm. When like how many people over the years of experimentation have died because like oh shit when you I combine mean, this shit together, Mary Curie. When he said <laughs> I've been testing this on myself, that's not good. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So it's like you know Senku doing his experiments of the fluid. He did it on the birds. See if it worked on birds. And then, sure. You know chunks of human. <laughs> As opposed to whole humans, you know? Because yeah. you got to know what's going to happen a little bit. 
So, no, I mean none of the, none of the stuff with uh, Sukasa, none of that mission mm-hmm. stuff. All of it is just this yeah. village and stuff right now in this episode. But yeah, now I have so many questions about this Pride. village and yeah, what's I going can't, on. I can't imagine a scenario that led to the creation of this village that doesn't have them not have knowledge of the past. Yeah, unless the people. Like if it's children, I guess, and maybe the children found a way to survive. Yeah, and had children, and then like it stemmed from there. I mean, depending on how long it had been, too, like they could have just had knowledge and lost it. It's true. They could be in like a dark age. Yeah, sure. Like if there was only a few hundred people mm, no across the world, or something stuff. like that. Yeah. Or if like if you have a kid, and then they have a kid, and then they have a kid, and they have a kid, and you know, like you're looking at your grand grandkids, it's like when I was young, we had radios. Or like what the hell? What are you talking about? Or it could be a <laughs> simple, <laughs> man. simple man <laughs> superstition thing where like knowledge is evil. Yeah. Like yeah, if they believe. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder why Chrome is. Like, his house is outside of the village. Is it just because he's, he, like... He blew up too many times. Well, yeah. I'd say experimenting-wise, well, you may need it to be yeah. out there. Yeah. It's also it his like secret, witchcraft right? and they're afraid of it? So yeah, they well, banish him or... I, I don't know if it's only banishment as opposed to he's keeping all of his materials here so no one sees when he's throwing stuff in the fire, you know? It's supposed to be, like... Source is literally like he's saying that he can do magic. Yeah, it's the pharaohs and turning the river red. He doesn't want people to know that he... Th- Gathering all these things to experiment sure. on. I like to think of being like, what was that? Copper? Copper, so- copper yeah. sulfate? Shit, you won't know what's called. Blue, blue crystals? Yeah, blue How do you know about blue stuff? Dude, whatever. He was like, Oh shit! Oh shit! Is this his sorcery? Reading minds? Yeah, reading minds. Yeah, that was like, great. I, now I need that as a sound bite. Yep. And we had the car thing that Sinku built. I don't know what to, I don't know what to call it. It, it was, was like a, it was like, like a, it was like a box car. Kind, kind of, of yeah. yeah. It like had the two wheels in the front, and it it drug like a stick in the back to steer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a. It only goes downhill. I guess. Tricycle. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Most things with wheels only go downhill. Unless you have motors. Yeah, motors. like we have to assume they do not have the wheel, right? They don't have wheelbarrows no, or anything. Yeah. She didn't understand what a pulley was, so hmm. a wheel or a wheelbarrow or anything yeah. like that they don't have yet. I feel like you would need a wheel before you need a before you'd make a pulley. Probably, yeah. In Age of Empires at least. You gotta get those wheelbarrows. Forward more. Mm-hmm. More rocks. It looked yeah. like it was primarily like they had blonde haired people and black haired people. Yeah. There. No pink haired people or No, I it purple. wasn't like there's it's not completely non-diverse but yeah you know they primarily have two hair colors I mean they have brown and there was and a they guy said it was about 40 like that's a very small amount of people to be able to keep up a population and they're that in doesn't Japan in, in right agree with, with each other there's a lot of blonde and then there's brown and then that one guy I'm pretty sure had black hair yeah so I mean you have like the three which guy the guy who had also the like the blonde beard or go, whatever go back it was when they first get there when she's telling them about the village see there's Old people, but blonde haired. Domesticated animals. I think black hair there, it looks like. And the guards, I feel like, have more brownish colored hair. They have jewelry. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious to know. Just like with their number, like, you know, have, trying to have genetic diversity enough to not breed yourself out of existence. <laughs> sure. You know? As I was talking to. What was it? It was the other day we were talking about something like that, and I don't know what it was. I said, Melanie's like, like. I was like, I told him about Adam and Eve. I'm like, well, they had like, I don't know, eight kids or whatever it was, right? But how do you get more from there? Like, they're not that diverse, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Like, you're going to start having all kinds of things happening. Oh, you weren't diverse to begin with because it came from him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, how does this work? And then it had to happen again with Noah, his wife, and then his sons and their wives. Yeah. I mean, at least they are the wives. There's others, you know? Like, you kind of sure. get a little bit more diversity with like... The, the wives of the sons and mm. whatnot, and then like you kind of could make it work but I'm like I was like you know if it was just if it was just you and me and the world ended how far could we go like what kind of problems would you have from you know just yeah, I don't know what the minimum number would be yeah maybe like uh, two dozen Dun it's not Dunbar's number no I know Dunbar's number is just the amount of people you can have in your head and know yeah. really well yeah. no not biblically yes <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I don't know if the science is behind it, but I imagine Dr. Stone would probably get pretty close to it because they do some really fun ways of 
Like to the point where they had to have it at the beginning. Don't do this because you might be able to do something for real. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Don't throw intro. this stuff in the fire. Yeah, they could actually. It, they made lead. I don't know what Cinnabar is. Cinnabar Islands. That's immediately what I thought of. So I was typing in quickly Cinnabar, and the first thing was Cinnabar Islands. Yeah. But I think it might be some type of ore that has Cinnab- something to do with mercury. Cinnabar must be a color. Well, that's what they. Well, do. yes. Is that what they said in here? Uh, it's like you you break it down and you melt the crystals and it gives you mercury. It's a toxic mercury sulfate mineral, but it was originally used as a pigment for its red color. And then also jewelry and ornaments. That's why Blaine with the fire gem is on Cinnabar Island. Yeah, I guess so. Red. Heat. And it is deadly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, mercury, toxic. Mercury's deadly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like that, it's like... Deadly, not ingested, but like on skin or something like that. Like contact with your skin is very dangerous. I believe. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. Me- I don't mess with that stuff. Yeah, heavy metals. I loved. Uh, I think it was Ginro's, or he's like. I guess Ginro means silver, and Ginro means gold. I believe so. Yeah. But uh, Ginro was like, no, for my special technique, let someone else handle it. Yeah. Which was so technique. Reagan from Mob Psycho 100. <laughs> like, not in terms of like Reagan's actually pretty damn brave. But in terms of a special technique, yeah, like pocket salt, you know. <laughs> different salt people spray. have come up with different numbers, but I saw 160. 160, that's close to Dunbar. Isn't Dunbar's 150? Uh, I think it's 500. Damn. 160 for what? To rebuild humanity. For like enough a diversity. Diverse yeah, enough genetic pool. Yeah, you, they would have need to be 160 diversely different individuals. Okay. So like, you can have like a brother and sister in that 160. Gotcha. So it would have to be 161 if there was a brother and sister. Yeah. Dunbar's number is 150. So is it's, it? it is very close. Okay. Yeah, it's close to a like century. Yeah. For Roman organization. That's a lot of people that you need then to be able to rebuild humanity. That is quite a few. Quality. And it, and how often do you get that diversity? Like, if if the world ended, most of the people you're probably going to have that survive. I mean, you might have pockets of people, but the pockets are going to be local people, yeah. which probably overall won't it, be as diverse you'd have as have family you units. Need. Yeah, you probably need in the thousands. Yeah, I mean, even if you had like our families all survive, that's not 160 people to try to start repopulating the earth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and how far away others. does it have to be? Like, there's a lot of Martins in Ohio, but they're not all related to me. Sure, but there's a lot of Grubs enough. in Ohio too. Yeah, specifically, specifically around here, here we, for some reason. Digging my yard. We progress with a population. We're a very social species, so can't do it on your own. But you try, Aaron. No. Is there like <laughs> is there like a point of no return with with inbreeding? Like West Virginia is. If you have 159, there's a whole state. We'll eventually, <laughs> kidding. Fail. Everybody from West Virginia, we love you. We're practically West Virginia. Well, yeah. The I'm thing wild. too is that those 160 people would also all need to be, I imagine, all need to be capable of making children. Yeah, sure. On both ends of things, not be barren or sterile. Mm-hmm. Do you and need? Is that number need to be half and like fifty fifty? I would say it probably needs to be more dominant, more women. Like female. Yeah. That I guess makes sense. I mean, one guy can impregnate many girls. Yeah, but you can't. You don't also though, though don't want to have like a hundred fifty nine women and one guy the same because gender. then yeah. now everyone's half him. Yeah. You know, it's like you still need that diversity too. Yeah. But should it be like a quarter and three quarter? Or should it be 50-50? And then you have the, if you have it 50-50, that's probably the most diversity. Sure. But the least effective as far as Turning out building people quickly. The, the population. Yeah. Maybe like... Yeah, but when people are... 66-33. If they're pregnant, like they need to be like... I don't know if they can do all like survival stuff, you know? It's like you need like... Sure. You need them... To, if you just had I mean, 149 why, like, all pregnant at the same time, and one guy is just taking care of everybody... <laughs> Because they can't operate in this full, exact same capacity or something. 59. Or if they, what if they die in childbirth, childbirth. or something, or, yeah. or complications or anything, you know? And now sure. it's dwindling more. I don't know. No one's in a hurry to repopulate the earth, so 50 50. Especially not Senku. Nothing's more logical than a romantic arrangement. All those people that plan those, like, doomsday shelters where it's like, oh, here, get all the important people. They better yeah. have at least 160 people of different, diverse spread to make sure the population can be rebuilt. I bet they aren't thinking about that. They are in certain communities to be able to, like, 
contact each other, so maybe. I guess. No, I mean whatever the rich, you know, the rich people got some kind of plan. It was like, hey, we all meet over here in Montana or someplace yeah, where fucking, nothing happens. Yeah, that's you why know? they were up to down, space. A, down a bunker. Elsa, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. That's what kind of hit going to fucking Mars? <laughs> but he better have 160 people of diverseness rather than just like a whole bunch of rich old white dudes that that's, can't do shit. That's why they were taking <laughs> applications for people to go on the, the Mars yeah. colony project thing. Insane. Plan this out because we're gonna end soon and ice age again and we have to live again. I uh, I really like Chrome, but I especially like that Siku likes Chrome so much because he he pointed out what I was thinking is like this guy did this himself. He's not yeah. standing on two million years of, yeah. and it's awesome that Siku has that information, has that like photographic memory or whatever. But it's really impressive to see this kid do it on the sure. own. Granted, we it's, don't know who came before him, who ever taught him, or. I mean, he said that anyone. he just like as a boy. I just collect, collect things, yeah. you know. But it's he got e- pretty far. I want. I, I was. I'd be curious to see what his arithmetic battle was. It's easy he to like. The fuck out of me. Make fun of him. Yeah. Being like, ah, he doesn't know anything. Yeah. But well, also to look at him as like, no one taught him this. Yeah. He didn't go to a school. And, and like, he understands if I throw this in this fire, this happens. But he doesn't understand like the chemical processes yeah. of yeah, why sure. it's happening. Exactly. Like he knows that it happens. He just doesn't understand the. the like he understands the principle. I don't like, understand why it was called a rainbow bridge. If John Henry loses he made a bunch that of contest colors. with the spike driving machine, right? If he loses, it's still pretty impressive that he got close. <laughs> I mean, he did lose. Well, I'm just saying, if, like, if you think of it, like, because there's been other stories where he wins, too. Is there? Okay. Yeah. The main story I feel like I heard is, like, he dies at the end of that, but I feel like that's not winning. Like, sure, you beat the machine. Just me in terms of... At what cost? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's that's the whole thing. You could have just the let story. the machine do it. Sure. <laughs> that's how you get machine that's, overlords, Aaron. That's the story. <laughs> that's the whole point of the story. <laughs> that's how we get Skynet. <laughs> I'm just saying. Everyone talked about that. I'm like, ah, John Henry, the hero who did that's this and that. That's why but, everyone's but, stoned. That kind of thing. Skynet, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. We do need a Skynet. Catch all them fucking birds! The, the stoned ones? He's Falling right. from the sky? I... No. I don't know what else does, but I understand him. I don't understand. Why are we fucking the birds? He hates birds ever since Ghost of Tsushima. No, not Ghost of Tsushima. Mugger Solid 2. Mugger Solid 5. 2. Number two, being up on the thing, you slip in their booty like fucking birds. I know how that was going. Oh, man. That, that wasn't the bad one, though. I stayed away from that. It was when I tried to snipe a captain in a base, and a bird flew in front of my bullet and alerted all of the guards, and I didn't kill the captain on the first shot. <laughs> what the fuck are the chances? The pulled a Roger Clemens. Twitch.tv slash blindwave for me.